Where's the toffee fit? Hey y'all, it's Kimberly and I'm here with another food video in an RV. I'm here in Hamburg with Maxopolitan mit ein doublet X. That's right. And I'm going to try out some German candies. I'm really excited about this because a lot of people have told me, Kimberly, you got to try this candy out. So here I am trying this candy out. So I'm going to do my typical ratings, of course, because I've been making these videos for years. So y'all are aware that I rate it from a 1 to a 10. And if not, that's how I do it. So let's get started. First, where's the toffee fit? Probably still in your bag. Check it. <gasps> Did we forget the Can't miss the toffee fee. <laughs> toy fee, as you would say. Toy fee. Here is toy fee. If you haven't seen my Itaka grocery store video where I smacked my gum, um, you should definitely watch it. And um, clearly did not know how to say this. But this has been the most recommended one to me. And it's toffee fee. Toffee fee? Toffee fee. Toffee fee. That's better than toy fee, okay? Um, and it is the hazelnuts in caramel mit nougat cream und chocolate. So, let's get started. Ah, it's such nice packaging. Hello, can you see it? Is it zoomed? Is it focused? Yeah. All right. The packaging is very nice. All right, here's what it looks like. I'm really excited. It seems to me like it is hazelnut outer shell with a chocolate filling in the middle. So let's get started. Yeah, this is really good. I get the hype about it. I get why I've been recommended this so many times. Um, yeah, it's really good. So if you can see the middle of it, there is a nut, there's the hazelnut and the chocolate. So it is three layered um, deliciousness. And yeah, I really like it a lot. So now for the ratings, I'm gonna give Tofi Fit a 9 out of 10. It was really delicious. Really, really good. Kind of almost reminds me of a German Reese's peanut butter cups in a strange way. In a strange way because it's Max gave me a weird look. Because I say this, it's like a reverse Reese's peanut butter cup where the chocolate is in the middle and the hazelnuts on the outside and we have our peanut butter. Do you kind of get it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so next I have the famous Milka. I've tried a lot of Milkas at this point, so I wanted to get a new one that I haven't tried. I have never been disappointed by Milka. My favorite one is Milka Cookies and Cream because I'm American. I love my Oreos. Um, Yeah, I love that one. But I really wanted to give this one a shot because it has a little cookie in the middle. Leibniz Cakes. A what? Say it again? Leibniz cakes. It's that Leibniz butter cakes. cookie. So this is what it looks like. They're so cute! <laughs> okay, have you ever tried this? Yeah. No. Okay. Is this a common milk or candy? Mm, yeah, pretty common. Okay. Alright. Let's get started. I really like it because of the cookie crunch to it. But this is delicious. Um, the crunch in it is amazing. So I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10. <laughs> Max gave me a crazy look. This was so good, y'all. But for my personal preference, I love cookie things and I kinda knew going in that I would love it because I adore Milka. So I kind of dug it more, but it's a personal preference taste. So now I have Shogetin, 
Latte Macchiato. I'm excited. I've never tried this one, obviously. I've never tried any of these. Um, and it is a latte mixtured chocolate. So let's get started. Do you actually drink this with latte? No. Well, in the picture, it looks like that. <laughs> it looks really good like that. <laughs> They've sold me. I'm sure you can, I guess. But I want to try it. Well, let's see if I like it first. But I'm pretty sure. Okay, who has ever had chocolate that you're absolutely like, no? So here I have latte macchiato. If you can see it. Can you see it? And it's a little puffy. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be layers in the middle. Mmm! Mm. I'm going to have to reevaluate all my ratings here. <laughs> if you can see that. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. I wasn't expecting such a strong coffee taste like the one that's here. Um, usually I'm used to more subtle taste. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give this one a 9.2 out of 10. 9.2 out of 10. <laughs> These ratings are getting real weird now. <laughs> I have my Aero chocolate here. It is Zarte Vomil Luft Chocolata. And I don't know what that means. I'm guessing it's more of a bitter chocolate, right? Okay, just kidding. I thought Zarte meant more bitter. No. Well, uh, <laughs> clearly. I I get the wrong stuff all the time in grocery stores here, y'all, so. Sat is more like a very fine or smooth. Ah, so. And then there's Sat bitter, which means fine, bitter chocolate. Okay. Ooh. So, if you can see the way it breaks. My friend Lydia that tried Hershey chocolate, I don't know if it made it to part one in the German trying American candy. It did. Okay, part two coming out soon-ish. And when she broke it, she said it had a very weird break about it. It didn't break right for what she's used to. That's kind of how I feel about this break, is how she felt about the other break with the Hershey chocolate. It didn't break like Milka breaks or anything like that. It breaks kind of spongy-ish, if you can see. All right. This is good. Honestly, reminds me of Hershey's quite a bit. The taste of it, the texture, the way it melts in your mouth. This reminds me of Hershey's chocolate. I like it, but I love Milka more. So I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. It was good. I have definitely eat it, especially on my time of the month. But I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. All right. Now I have yogurt candy. I'm pretty excited about this just because I always see these and I've never tried it myself. Oh, wow. Uh, shambles, my life is shambles. Um, here's what we got going on here. All right, let's do a break. Let's do a break test. Okay. Smells like strawberry yogurt. This is good, but I'm not a particular fan, not particular, I'm not particularly a fan of this middle. I don't know. A just part of me not. just died. I prefer chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. I want to eat all the chocolate in the world and this you just don't get all the chocolate. So I'm gonna give this a 7.5 out of 10. It's still delicious and I could get why people really love this a lot, but for my personal taste, I wanna get chocolate on chocolate on chocolate or 
I want a break of the chocolate by a cookie. All right, so. Oh, you know, you have to open that a certain way. You know that, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here I have Ritter Sport. And it is Nougat. I've never had this one, but apparently it's a pretty classic one to try. So apparently there's a certain way to open it. Max has informed me. Let's see if Kimberly can pass the German chocolate opening test. No. Nope. No? You have to break it in the middle along that line. And so like it'll this way? no, break the chocolate in the middle along that line. Ah. <laughs> wow. I've innovative, never isn't it? Opened up and that's really innovative. I'm impressed. <laughs> that just took this video next level. Um it just looks like a normal Joe Schmo candy chocolate thing, but I'm sure it's gonna be layered inside. Mm. Yeah, it has a creamy nut filling in the middle. I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. Really good. Loved it a lot. Schokolade. In Deutschland, es lecker, sehr lecker, yummy, yummy in my tummy. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed that video. If you like this video and want to see more, I post new content every single week. I love you all so much. Make sure to subscribe, comment below. What's your favorite German chocolate or candy that I missed out on? Like the video, and I'll see you all next week. Ciao, tschüss, bis dann. Stole that from me. Again! <laughs>